Hi, it's Wesley with 22 Zines, and today I am here with a little tarot deck declutter slash fundraiser. Uh, so basically, I have six tarot decks that I am looking to rehome and move on from my collection, and I figured rather than simply sell them for a set price, I would instead like to take the opportunity to raise some money for a really excellent mutual aid fund, and I will talk a little bit more of that in a minute. Um, and so what I'm going to do for this instead is, uh, in order to purchase one of these decks, we're actually going to do a donate what you can model. Uh, so basically how this is going to work is if you see a deck or multiple decks that you're interested in, what you will do is donate any amount to the mutual aid fund, any amount at all, there's no set donation price or, or price for each deck. Uh, then you'll email me with proof of your donation, either in the form of a screenshot or an email receipt, just whatever you have that's easiest for you. Uh, let me know the deck or decks that you want and the address that I should mail them to. And that's it. Um, I'm offering free shipping anywhere in the world, so don't worry about that. Um, and it really is donate any amount. Uh, the reason I want to do that is so that no one is potentially exempted from participating or receiving a deck that they are interested in due to a lack of funds. Um, and also so that those who do have expendable income can it, contribute more than a particular set price. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. And I, I think that it'll be really great. We can raise some money for a great mutual aid fund. I can rehome some tarot decks that are really excellent, but I just don't need my collection anymore. And I hope that it'll just be fun for everybody. Uh, so as long as the tarot decks are still available, they will be listed in the description below. And I will note if they have already been, um, uh, given away as a as a donation thank you uh, if they're already taken so to speak um and so if it is still listed in the description below then the deck is still available and you can absolutely um make the donation and send me the send me the email to receive the deck uh as a little bonus slash thank you for um participating in this I'm also going to be including in each uh, mail with the with the tarot decks, like in each little package, a little set of zines and a sticker for me. So um, every uh, tarot deck donation will come with a pack of my tarot zines. I have Death, Knight of Cups, Six of Swords, and judgment so far, so you will get all four of these, plus a little shorter <laughs> zine called Why Your Voice Will Always Matter, a story of witches, fungus, and scholarship, which is a really, uh, I think, a pretty interesting little thing about um, the story of Linda Caporeal and how she so sort of changed how we understand the Salem witch trials. I think that it, it makes for a neat little story, so I'll include that zine. And you'll get this brand new vinyl sticker that says 22 zines on it, uh, just for fun. So, like I said, every donation receives a little pack of these along with the tarot deck that you are donating for. So, um... Let me talk a little bit about the mutual aid organization that I'm going to be fundraising for. It is an organization called Nihi Ke'e Ba, which is uh, for our relatives, mutual aid. And it's a really excellent Navajo mutual aid organization that for 10 years has been uh, reaching out for their community and offering community support, especially for native Navajo elders. And in the times of COVID, they have been an absolutely invaluable resource distributing masks, distributing food, distributing sanitizer, and a lot of things for um, members of the Navajo Nation that otherwise wouldn't have been able to access these themselves. Uh, so really, I just think it's an incredible 
mutual aid organization. And of course, even if you aren't particularly interested in any of the decks that I have um, on offer today, I would highly encourage you to check them out and consider donating. Again, it is Nihi Ka'e Ba, or For Our Relatives Mutual Aid, and I will have links to um, PayPal and Venmo for donation below, as well as links to their Instagram and uh, some really great um, articles that were written about the work that this mutual aid community organization does. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'll show you the decks that I have on offer. And if any of them, if you're interested in any of them, then consider donating to uh, pick them up. These are just going to be in alphabetical order, no particular order beyond that. The first is the Crow Tarot by MJ Cullinane. And incidentally, this was pretty much the first deck that I bought that wasn't just the Rider Waite Smith. And I was uh, inspired, I suppose, because I saw it on Lisa's channel. And I really liked her description that it was a very airy deck. And I thought, oh, well, I'm a Libra. I'll like that. Um, but really, I think now that I've sort of um, figured out my tastes a little more, it's uh, not really getting used. It is still very new. Um, and by the way, all of these are in order because I wanted to make sure that I had all the cards in there. So yes, they are all complete. Um, you've probably seen this tarot before. It's, it's relatively popular. I love this devil card. I almost want to keep it just for the devil card. Um, so yeah, very beautiful deck. It still sort of has that new deck smell, if that <laughs> makes any sense, because that's really how I haven't used it. You know, there's no bow or bending or any of that. Um, and of course, it comes with the original guidebook, still in really good shape. And yeah, that's the Crow Tarot. So it will come complete in its little box with the guidebook. The next one that I'm going to be rehoming here is the Hermetic Tarot, uh, which is by Godfrey Dawson, based upon the esoteric workings of the Secret Order of the Golden Dawn. And I got this because I was sort of playing around with the uh, Golden Dawn and learning more about the associations and thought that if I had one deck that was less about um, Crowley, basically, then I might enjoy it more. But no, I think that I just, um, it's a little too weird for me. It's a little too esoteric, but it is really interesting. And I kind of, despite it being very common, relatively old-ish, like, you know, it's been around for a while. I'm trying to see if there's like a date on it since... Well, apparently since 1979, so, uh, but this particular edition since 2009, um, it has a lot of alchemical symbols. It has a lot of very occult, very esoteric, you know, Golden Dawn type things. So if you're a fan of the Spirit Keeper's Tarot, for example, or any other super occult, super symbolic things, this Justice card is pretty, uh, then you might like this. And the, the miners are fully illustrated. Um, they are pip-ish, but the illustrations are a lot more detailed than in a in a pip deck. You know, I, I probably wouldn't call this a pip deck. Um, yeah, so this is the Hermetic Tarot. And I always keep all of the little extra cards that come with anything. So it even still has the little title card, the Hermetic Tarot, and it has the little white book that comes with it, um, which describes the way that the uh, Golden Dawn represented each card or, or described each card. So that's the Hermetic Tarot. Comes in, whoops, comes in this little tuck box. And the tuck box is, you know, already slightly, it's a tuck box. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> but besides that, it's in good shape, very rarely used. So um, that's the Hermetic Tarot. There, there's the center. 
The next one that I'm going to be rehoming um, is one that is a little sad for me, I suppose, that it didn't work out, and that is the Next World Tarot by Christy C. Road. This is the full size, so like the really big size where you can see all the detail and it's almost more like oracle card size. It comes in the original tuck box. And let's just take a look here. Make sure I can get them all out. So yeah, so here's the little guidebook. Um, it's it's kind of a big guidebook, you know, pretty, pretty chunky, pretty decent. Um, tiny minor damage, but you know, I'd hardly call that damage. My my definition of like damaged items is very different, um, <laughs> given my uh, familiarity with zines, which can very easily get beat up. But the point is, yeah, it comes with the full guidebook here, and let's just get into the images. So, you have also probably seen this tarot around. It is again, it's pretty popular, pretty well known. Um, it's very pretty. It's very modern. The large card size is nice. I know they have a smaller edition, but the large card size is nice because the artwork here is so detailed, um, especially in some of the cards like this where there's just a lot going on. You can actually read the things that they have on their protest signs and that that sort of thing. Really cool lover's card. You know, very diverse, very, very good deck. I like it. Um, the only thing, like, the reason that I'm not hanging on to it is just because, honestly, this deck is just a little too real for me, if that makes sense. Like, um, <laughs> like, like, this is, this is super real. This is super intense. It very much does reflect the world that we live in and a lot of the um, things that we want to make the next world out of and how how we can, you know, it represents a lot of protests or has representations of a lot of protests and activism and, um, and I really appreciate that and value that, but I think that it's one of those things that just brings me down a little. Like, it's just, it's too much for me to deal with when I'm reading tarot. Um, I, I need things that are a little bit lighter and, you know, although this is a very optimistic card, it, it, it just is, it feels very heavy to me in the, in the scenarios that it's depicting. Um, I think that there is something very validating about that. And so that's why I would still encourage this deck and recommend this deck to anyone who is interested. Uh, but it's just, like, not not something that I can deal with right now, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Anyway, um, Next World Tarot, this is the full-size edition for, in, from 2017, Christy C. Road. Highly recommend it. Okay, next up we have the Hour Tarot. Um, the box is very large, so it, it's that big. <laughs> um, this is a guidebook and deck featuring Notable Women in History by Sarah Shipman. This is the Mass Market Edition. I think that there was an indie edition before this, but this is, you know, the, the Mass Market version. And it comes in this big box with a very, very chunky guidebook. It is huge and very detailed. Hank, let me, let me, <laughs> like, I don't even have room to show it all on camera here. Very detailed. And it, sh um, basically the thing about this deck is that it features a collage, um, with a famous woman or, or notable woman from history on each card. And so the guidebook describes uh, information about the person featured. Um, I think that it's really interesting and, and it's a very, it's a very cool way to engage with history and to engage with biography. Um, it's a, it's a really, 
great guidebook, and that's actually originally why I bought the deck, was so that I could read the guidebook. So, that's the guidebook. How many pages is this? Just to see. Like, it's a lot. 347, 49 pages? 350? Like, it's big. <laughs> there is so much information in here. Okay, so, on to the deck itself. Um... If I can get this box open. The box comes in a little tuck box that sits inside the large box, which is decently sturdy. I'm going to try very gently to open this, but this is a particularly tight tuck box, just so that you know. You could probably discard the tuck box entirely. Try to open it very carefully. <laughs> and here are the cards. They are, I believe, poker size or like standard playing card size, so they're a little smaller um, than your standard tarot card, uh, which is really nice for if you have small hands or, or otherwise can't handle a really big chunky deck. So you have here the title, you have the woman represented, and then you have this beautiful collage image. Love the High Priest, it's so cool. <laughs> so, I really like this, and the reason that I am rehoming it is just because the images, like the collage images, are a little too small. And I know, you know, that can be a boon for many people. This is a, could easily be a pocket deck or, or something that's easier to have larger spreads on. You know, there's a lot of potential benefits for it. Um, but my thing is I think that the, just the borders are a little too big, and I would rather see more of the image itself, so I just don't find myself reaching it for it very much. Um, the other thing about this particular deck is that if you are interested in it, and if you do end up making a donation and picking it up, then uh, Corvin at Tail Raven Tarot has a whole very long detailed walkthrough series going through each individual card and who's represented and um, doing a deep dive on it, which is just really, really fun and really fascinating to listen to. So I will go ahead and link that in the description as well. But anyway, that is the Our Tarot. I will deal with the tuck box later. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is kind of an oddity, and that is the Tarot of Famous Witches by Rachel Ford. Uh, this is a uh, a very indie deck, like it's on it's on Etsy and it's very small run as far as I know, and it is a majors only deck. It is twenty two cards of the Major Arcana, represented by famous witches from history and fiction. The uh, the deck also, I don't know if it like originally comes with it, but I also have this zine, Tarot of Famous Witches, which um, is is like the guidebook essentially, and it has the images of the card and a little bit more about both the um, upright and first meanings and then the history of either the card or of um, the person who's the witch, the famous witch who's associated on the card. Um, and it's just, it's just a really pretty, very high quality little zine that I'm hesitant to let go, but I realize it should probably stay with the deck and I think I can always just repurchase the zine part separately for myself later. Anyway, so it comes in this little tuck box, pretty high quality, and there's a lot of room to pull the cards out. And it's got a little bit of silver shine to it, which is really cool. And here we have Gerald Gardner as the Fool, Aradia as the Magician, Anne Boylan as the High Priestess, Stevie Nicks as the Empress. So you can see it's, it's witches of all flavors from history, from pop culture. We have Alphabet as the Chariot. I love Joan of Arc <laughs> as strength. I've written something about him in um, my zine, uh, Jeanne d'Arc. Anyway, 
So it's a really cool little deck, and and the cards are very very sturdy. Um, but it's a small enough deck, like being majors only, that you could still reasonably riffle shuffle. Um, so if you're interested in an art deck or just a deck to get some inspiration or just some pretty pictures, then I would definitely recommend this one. And of course it is a great working deck as well, as long as you don't mind working with a majors only deck. So that is, again, the Tarot of Famous Witches by Rachel Ford, and it'll come with this zine and the deck. And the last one that I uh, have on offer is the Trionfi della Luna by Patrick Valenza. And I really love the Trionfi della Luna, and the only reason that I am rehoming it is because I have the Illustrated Miners version on order right now. But this is the original one, it's the English text version. Get everything out. And like I said, I keep all of the little extra cards, all the little bonus cards, so I have this here. And here are the images. They are very pretty, very interesting. This strength card is my favorite strength card out of any deck that I've ever seen. You, it's likely that you've seen this, or if not this, then the Deviant Moon, which is Valenza's other big tarot deck project. Um, and then the miners are Pip miners, but they are so intricate and so pretty, and I love all the little spikes and the little eyes, and I've still managed to get a surprising amount out of these just from the, the tiny little details, the tiny little moons or or extra drawings that are on here. So even if you're not a, especially a Pip fan, if if you like it anyway, or if you're curious about it anyway, then, you know, maybe you'd want to give this one a try. So anyway, it's really pretty. The other nice thing about this deck is that it comes with a ton of bonus cards, like a ton. So We've got alternate cards for the Devil, the Tower, and again the Tower, but this one referred to as the Lightning, the Star, Judgment, and so I have, you know, the ones that I ended up picking in this deck, and so these are all bonuses. And it also comes with this little 10-card Oracle, um, which are all these little landscape oracle cards in different scenes. Uh, there isn't a print guidebook for this, but there is a guidebook that you can download online. And it's just really interesting. And then the last bonus card is, I don't know what this is, I guess you'd just call it an art card, um, but I have this one too. So it is a complete set, you know, a complete Triumphi della Luna, just like if you bought a brand new one from Patrick Valenza. So um, those are the decks that I have to offer for this little fundraiser. We have, um, once again, the Trionfi della Luna, the Tarot of Famous Witches, the Next World Tarot, the Our Tarot, the Hermetic Tarot, and the Crow Tarot. So uh, don't forget that if you do make a donation, you will also get the pack of tarot zines, a witchcraft zine, and a sticker from me. Um, it's free shipping anywhere, and again, it is entirely donate what you can or donate what you want. Um, if that amount is one dollar, that is fine. If that amount is zero dollars, that's also fine. Just, you know, no questions asked. Just send me a message. Um, you can email me at 22zines at gmail.com, which is also in the description below, with your uh, proof of donation and your mailing address. And 
Uh, of course, let me know what deck or decks you are interested in as your uh, donation. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I'm very curious to see how this goes, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.